actually get an idea of what you're looking at. It's like, okay, oh, looks like some sort of an organ that has a big opening in the middle and looks like it's kind of thrown into folds right now. So this is the lumen, and as we go out this way, we know we're going further from the outside. So since I'm looking for epithelia, am I gonna look on the outside of the organ, the middle of the organ, or the inside of lining? Inside. inside lining. So you're gonna look here, without even knowing what it was. So it did say esophagus on your on your lab, but I wasn't certain that was referring to the slide, but it was. Okay, so here is the epithelial tissue that we're looking for here. You can see there's lots of other types of tissues. There's some muscle. Here's a tiny layer of muscle. Here's the arena tissue. Uh, that might be a, some sort of a dense, regular, irregular. Okay, so we're going to zoom in there. Okay, so this kind of epithelia is got lots of layers. It's for protection. Stratified Yeah, this is the stratified squamous. Is it the keratinized or the non-keratinized? This is the non-keratinized, and the easy way, I will move up magnification again, but the easy way to tell, fairly easy, I think, is that there's not a kind of a dead, wispy layer here. If you have a wispy, dead-looking layer here, then you know it's the skin. Sometimes it's a very thin, wispy layer, and sometimes it's a big, thick one, like you saw today, the big, blue, thick layer that was the, the palm or the sole of the foot. So this is the, the wet, non, it's called non-keratinized, stratified squamous epithelium is this from here to here. You see how it gets darker down at the basal surface? Why is it darker? Why is there more purple dots there? Yeah, more cells, more of the nuclei, <coughs> distinct nuclei. Okay, so let's move up. Oh, see it went away, I didn't center it. So down here, here's where it changes the tissue type. So what kind of tissue is this here? That is the really tissue. Good. And what kind of tissue type is this here? Stratified squamous. Yep. And is it keratinized or non-keratinized? Non-keratinized. Non so you're going to need to get used to saying that too. Okay. So as the cells get further from their um, underlying connective tissue, they get more dried out, kind of flat looking out here. So here's where the regeneration is occurring down here. So tell your neighbor what's an example location other than the esophagus where you might find this kind of tissue. Hint, we did a lab that involved, we did a lab that involved this tissue type on day one. Non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, and that, that is the esophagus that we're looking for.